So we're back again with what I believe is the final episode of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, The Crystal Bearers. In the last episode, yeah, that is a tongue twister. Do not, do not try to say that at all. I'm one try. <laughs> but in the last episode, we have basically got out of the prison sands and just got out of the aerial prison as well. So that's a good thing. But in this episode, we are headed off to, let's double check, to the capital in the city to go and meet up with Kais. We are ready for the final resurrection to go and uh, take the shuttle back to the palace. So, with that, nothing else has to be said other than the fact that we should just go to the shuttle bus and move on. I'll be back. So we're back at the Grassland Station with the posh music that I just cannot get enough of. <laughs> oh, pumpkins that I can't dodge because I because uh, I can't dodge them because some dingus decided, hey, I'm gonna fall over all the crates and just dump them on over. And it was you. But the fact that you're sitting on your ass right now just says enough. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, not gonna say anything else about that, but still. Kais should be here right in front of the entrance once I take her right, so make sure that you come here once you get the letter for the final resurrection. So, yep. And he's right there in front of the door. Let's go and talk to him. Ah, here you are. This is the big finale. Are you all set? The finale could just be the beginning. Now you're starting to sound like a yuke. In any case, it'll be the end for Jagran. I hope you're right. Let's go. Well, you heard him. Let's crack open the door and get to business. And I just cannot get any I just cannot get enough of this music. The music just adds much more in just enjoyability to my day, I guess, if that's even a word. And I just want to take a last look at the garden that I was able to make in this playthrough. I just cannot get enough of that. I feel like there's people that, again, I feel like there's people that done a, that could possibly do a much better job than this. I cannot even get my words straight today because it's so hot. But yeah, I'm not sure if that's good enough, but there's probably some people out there that could do better than that with a garden. Uh... <laughs> But yeah, let's head over to the shuttle bus and get over to where we need to be. Alright, so we're here at the shuttle uh, central platform. So what we have to do to make our final decision of whether or not we want to go into the final battle is to go and talk to him. Sorry, and, wait. yeah. Are you going to the palace? Yep, so when we have this option, if you're not ready to go yet, make sure that you choose this option before you do anything else. If you want to get other things before the battle go for it, but I think I'm pretty much okay, because I did a bunch of practice runs. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is already go to the palace, because I'm ready. So here we go. Where's Belle? I thought she wanted to collect her reward. She's with Sid at the airship launch site. She told me she caught a scent of money there. <laughs> so, Lael, you think Jagran can really cure the king? Crystal bearer powers aren't that convenient. Altea is going to have to accept that. Won't be easy. Okay, so the mission now is to get these guys out of the way. So that was... I should have, like, warned in the beginning that this game is pretty cutscene-heavy towards the end, so uh, just kind of be mindful of that. And you want to grab these pieces off the ship, and if these guys would get out of our freaking way, that'd be great. And I'm fine. You just got to keep doing this keep doing this repeatedly and not let these guys kind of bother you. But, uh, yeah, this has been a pretty outstanding game for the most part, so... Uh, as in regards to the last boss fight, uh, it is. It may look like much now, but it's gonna get uh, much more interesting. Interesting from this point on. So just rip these pieces off of the ship, and it's very, it's very tedious. But they're like very small pieces of the ship, but it's for some reason very important. <laughs> I don't know, but it's doing its thing. If these guys would get out of my way, that'd be nice. So, you will take some hits, but it's fine.
Alright, so now we have an arm in the way, so you want to basically evade that arm, and uh, just kind of, yeah, one hit will do that much. Okay, and I haven't seen that cutscene in a pretty long while. That's pretty strange that I haven't actually seen that a lot, and I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna die, uh, given that this arm could possibly whack me uh, if I let it, but hey, it's not a problem if it does, because I'm not gonna, like, pretend to not expect it at all, because it's it's there for a reason, to bother me. So the, to the best of your ability, if you want, you can just kind of get that arm out of your way just by uh, shaking it out of the way. So if it comes down when you do that, it's not going to hit you as easy. As easy. So, yeah, like that. Just like I died from it. So it's, again, it's not a problem. It's normal. I've expected this. Very, very much. So, at least it gives you a checkpoint. The arm is just going to reform itself and do it all over again. There we go. Okay, hopefully this part sh hopefully this part should be a little bit easier because <laughs> the horn just hit me as soon as I said that. That is just beautiful. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, with that being said, let me try that again. <laughs> so, get these cannons out of the way, pretty much, and uh, just kind of dodge the shots that it's taking at you, and uh, from time to time, just kind of see if you can... Yeah, I did take that hit from that arm, D I have no shame. Anyway, <laughs> from time to time, like, try to maneuver that arm out of the way, and yeah, get hit again, get hit again. Okay, I think I see what I have to do here. I have to I have to wait until he's about to attack, then shake. Okay. That's what I've been freaking missing. There we go. Arm Destroyer discovered. It took me that long to figure it out. Wow. That was funny, but hey, at least we get, can just deal with the rest of the cannons like it's no problem. Just yank these guys off and just, yeah, yeah, yank them off. That sounded pretty good. <laughs> anyway, yank off this cannon so we can just shoot the rest. off one of these cannons over here and just shoot everything pretty much mainly that freaking arm so uh, make sure you just get one of these guys down and you're gonna take some hits but uh, if I can get this cannon here down I can shoot that arm off and die pretty much <laughs> Ooh, it's kind of nuts Let's 
destroy that freaking arm, dude. There we go. I might die again, but it's okay. That arm is gone. Yank this piece off, and we're gonna be almost done. Alright, now that we have access to the very center of the ship, all we have to do now is just go for the center and then shake again. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles The Crystal Bearers. This is a game that I find very unique to me in many ways. Now, I didn't ever see myself doing a playthrough of this particular game because when I got it for the first time, like years ago, uh, I played through the whole thing, and in the conclusion that I drew was that the dialogue and interaction and the cutscenes weren't as expressive and surprising. But as time passed, I looked at it very differently, because after a, a while of not watching it or playing it, some of the scenes took me by surprise, and there were some wow moments, which I enjoy. Uh, the biggest thing that I find amusing in any playthrough of that matter is when the scenes have the element of surprise, so I'll give it that. One aspect that I wanted to touch up on is transport, and getting from point A to point B. Yes, I did mention that uh, travel and transport here was very time-consuming, but I was able to edit out the most tedious segments of those specific parts, so the episode was able to get straight to the point of where I wanted to go and what I wanted what I wanted to talk about. Uh, so that's all I really have to talk about on the transport segment of my conclusion of this specific playthrough. Uh, now is the plot. I do want to say some things about it. The plot of this playthrough is still amazing. But I do find other Final Fantasy releases to be just a little bit better. Not that this game has any loss. Uh, I still do admire here that there are four different communities, such as the Lilti, Clavot, Yukes, and Salkis, which are all groups that stand out against each other. So I enjoy the fact that they were actually able to actually able to beneficially agree with some things that were happening. So that's good. It's just when I see Final Fantasy specifically, I think mostly of the ones that I played in the past in my free time. Example of that is uh, Zack and Aerith from Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, The Reunion. There was also uh, The Advent Children, the film, which had most of the uh, original voice casting members. Those are all great releases. But to conclude, I really wanted to give this game the adoration that it deserves, although it doesn't fully play like a Final Fantasy game. Uh, it still does fulfill some of the things that I expect. With that being said, I will see everyone in the next playthrough that I happen to do. Mainly, it'll be uh, Okami. Wrapping that up is uh, pertinent at this point. But I'll continue to upload more of that along with the next playthrough that I happen to do. Keep that a mystery. But with that, I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned. Subscribe, like, comment, or anything else. Peace out, everyone.